Hey there, Angie Gensler here, and I am the creator of the social media image templates. First, thank you so much for your purchase, and I sincerely hope that these image templates will save you hours of time and stress growing your business on social media. Now, the first thing you need to do is open up the PDF so that you can access the different template files, and you can access them using canva.com, Google Slides, or Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you tips and tricks to edit and customize and save the templates using canva.com. If you would like tips for the Google Slides or Microsoft PowerPoint templates, I also have a video all about that as well. So for the Canva templates, you'll need to open up the PDF and then scroll down to the page that includes links to all of the different template files. If you need help accessing those files, I do have a video tutorial that walks you through it step by step to help you out in case you face any issues along the way. Now, once you have accessed every single one of these templates and they are in your canva.com account, you are now ready to start editing them and customizing them for your own unique business. So let's start with these styled quotes. Now your purchase gives you access to two different versions of the styled quotes. So you will see them with black text and with white text. And I do that because depending on your brand colors, black text or white text may or may not look good. So now you have both versions depending on what type of background you would like with your images. So for this example, I'm going to show you how to make some edits to the black text version. And you can see here, if you click on the slide, right here, you can change your background color to anything you like. You can pick one of your brand colors, or you can open up the color selection tool and type in your hex code for your exact brand color. You can also upload an image. So let me go to my uploads here, and I'm just going to throw this image in here, and we're gonna size it right, and then let's position it to the back behind this quote, and that doesn't look the greatest. So the nice thing is, these quotes are all inserted as a transparent image. So you can see you can manipulate it, you can move it around, you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. You have full control to manipulate the size of this text. Now, because it's styled, the text itself cannot be altered. You can only alter the size and the placement of the text, but everything else on this image is editable. And you can also add more text or your logo as well. Now, if you want to edit this text, maybe you wanna translate it into a different language, or maybe you just don't like the font or the spacing. That's why I have the editable quotes for you. So the editable quotes file, the text is 100% editable. Now you only have this in one version because you can easily change this text to white if you would like. So let's say your background, let's start with that background color. You have a really dark, brand color, so let me select a really dark blue. Obviously that black does not work and you need something that will pop. So let's select all of that and we'll change the text to white and there you go, it's really easy. Or maybe you want a completely different font. So with this text, you can change to any font you would like that comes with your Canva account. And let's see, I believe this is one that comes free with a Canva account. You can change the, the case to make it uppercase or lowercase. You can play with the letter spacing, the line spacing. There's so much control that you have over these templates. So really anything that you can do in Canva, you can customize it 100% with these editable quote templates. Now the other templates you have access to are the editable questions. Now the 2019 questions just have one style, which is this style, and the 2020 questions have two styles. So let me show you how to edit this style. Now the first thing that you'll notice is that these images are very muted. They're, they have a faded look to them to make this text really pop. And if you'd like to change the transparency of that image, you will click on it. And over here, you're gonna click on the transparency tool and you can remove all transparency or you can make it even more transparent. It's completely up to you. And if you don't like that black text, of course, you can make it any color you would like. We'll just make it white. Maybe you wanna make it uppercase and maybe you like a different font. 
So you have total control of this. You can make it bigger. You can change the location of it, the sizing of it. Maybe you wanna mess with the photo, which let me do that again. I double clicked on the photo and you can see that gives you ability to make it bigger and to move it around. So you have a lot of freedom and control with these as well. You can also just delete the photo if you'd like and make it a plain background color. Uh, maybe you wanna add in a different photo and you can also add in your logo or your URL here at the bottom by uploading your logo or adding a text box and making it your URL. So you can see these are also fully editable. Now let's move on to the editable holidays, which again are also 100% editable templates. So you can change the photos, you can resize them, you can edit the text, you can change what it says, maybe change the font, the spacing, the sizing, the color, anything you want. So these templates are all 100% editable as well. Now, a few of the holiday templates do include a custom drop shadow. So the one thing that frustrates me with Canva is they do not have a drop shadow feature. And that's why I actually prefer to use Google Slides. So if you do like drop shadows, be sure to download the Google Slides or the Microsoft PowerPoint templates because Google Slides allows you to add drop shadows much easier and it really elevates the professional quality of your images. But you can kind of do a workaround within Canva. So you can see we have a drop shadow effect here with these words. Now that's because we have, let me move this red one, it's two layers of the words. So we have a black layer underneath the colored layer here. So let me undo that again. So if you would like to edit this, please know that there are two layers of words here so that when you're editing, you know, make sure that you're aware of that. So if you do change the size of the font here, or you mess with that, so let's make it 96, you're gonna, you'll see now that double layer is behind there. So you'll need to edit that as well. So a lot of the holiday templates do have that drop shadow effect in there. Okay, so this was a really quick video, but hopefully that helps. It gives you some tips and tricks on how to edit these. Now, one final thing I'd like to show you. When you're ready to save your images, you're going to click publish and then download. Now, what I recommend is not doing all pages because then it'll download a big massive zip file and unless you are doing a big massive scheduling and you're just you know sitting down for a day and you're churning it all out. Otherwise, I would just download one image at a time. So select the image you like, make sure that you have it as a PNG, that's going to give you the highest quality image possible, and then you will click download. This will save automatically to your computer. And then from there, you can upload it to your social media channel of choice or to your social media scheduling tool of choice. Okay, so there you have it. Now you know how to edit, customize, uh, download, save your images so that they are ready for social media. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at info at and myself or a member of my team will help you as soon as possible. Thank you again for your purchase and I hope you find it immensely valuable and it saves you tons of time growing your business with social media.